I've seen this question over and over again. What is the best AI copywriting tool? And there isn't a right or wrong answer to this question. But what if I told you you've been approaching AI copywriting wrong the entire time? Let's get into it. One of the biggest misconceptions with AI is that people are trying to find the perfect AI copywriting tool, which sounds in theory correct, but it's not. You see, each AI copywriting tool works for each individual use case because we have all types of different articles such as summarizing an article, writing an informational article, and even doing product roundups where we compare products to each other. I'll compare the three best AI copywriting tools in my opinion, which are Koala Writer, Surfer SEO, and Phrase. Surfer SEO and Koala Writer, they run on GPT-4, whereas Phrase runs on GPT-3.5, so I do expect to see a difference in the content produced. They each have individual use cases where they excel, but not only do I want to compare them, I also want to see how they excel at their use case. Phrase has been working on their AI for around a year and Koala Writer plus Surfer for a couple of months. But again, there is a difference on the GPT version they're working on. But I want to compare them on an informational article. So we will take the search phrase, how to manage multiple projects as a freelancer, and then run that through each of the different tools to see where they excel using this query. But not only do I want to compare them on this search phrase, I also want to find out where they excel at their individual use cases. To have something to compare with, then I want to show you my outline that I would use if I had to write this article manually. And when I take a look at this SERP, then it's filled with tips, so I would go the same direction. I would make a small introduction to hook the reader into the article, I would make a couple of key takeaways, and then I will dive into the tips and end with a wrap up. That is the outline I would follow. Of course, the amount of tips would vary depending on what I found relevant. But let's start with Surfer SEO and see how they did when I simply just entered the search phrase. Surfer SEO's outline is to some extent similar to mine. They have the introduction, they go the how-to route. So instead of just jumping right into the tips and describing one tip after another, they have packed it as a how-to article on how you manage your projects. So it's a bit similar, but still they have taken a different approach. Now with Koala's outline, we get a much more extensive outline where they cover it from every aspect you can imagine. They take in not only the planning and the execution that we saw from Surfer SEO, they also take the financial aspect of writing more invoices and basically just managing more clients. While Phrase was much faster at delivering the outline, we really see the difference here on GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 because Phrase starts out very generic talking about what freelancing is. And that's not relevant for this article because when you search this search phrase, then you already know what freelancing is. So you don't need a section where we talk about freelancing. We just want to dive right into it. Further down in their outline, then they talk a little bit more about some tips you can do to manage multiple projects and they mention some tools. But overall, we don't have the selection of websites that we had with Surfer SEO. And when I look at the outline compared to Surfer SEO and Koala Writer, then this is the worst so far. With Surfer SEO and Koala Writer, I simply had to press a button to generate the article. But with Phrase, I could enter prompts for each section what it had to write about. So again, this is an individual use case, what you prefer. Do you want full control? Then Phrase is perfect. But do you just want to click the article and get it generated? Then it's Koala Writer and Surfer SEO. Overall, then Phrase was the fastest at generating the article. And after that, Surfer SEO came in and then Koala Writer. Now for this search phrase, I went in and then I found the average count and we had to write around 2000 words per article. And Surfer SEO wrote 1895 words, Koala Writer wrote 2721 words and Phrase wrote 3000 words. So they were complete mix. Surfer SEO were the closest one to the 2000 words and then Koala Writer and then of course Phrase in the end. But now let's take a deeper dive and start with Surfer SEO. Now with the articles generated, I will leave a link in the description below to each article for the different tools. But Surfer SEO is the first article. When we dive into it, then the introduction is too long. The text is great, but it's just too heavy to read. I really like the key takeaways because it gives me an idea of what the article contains. 
But overall, then the server SEO is giving tips, but they're not concrete and they don't go in depth with the different tips. And then they're missing outbound links, lists, tables, highlighted words, because it's just overall too heavy to read because it's just text on top of text on top of text. Lastly, then they chose to add an FAQ section, which overall is great because you can add schema to this FAQ and then in theory rank for these FAQ questions. But already in the article, we answered two of these questions. So it's a bit redundant adding them to an FAQ section. Of course, it can make sense from a user experience perspective because you can fast get an answer on a specific question. But I think that's up to debate because it depends on who you are as a person and how you write your articles. Next up, Koala Writer is also done generating the article. And overall, what I really like about Koala Writer is that they're using lists. They are highlighting the words which are important in the different paragraphs. They're using short paragraphs and even formatted tables once it's relevant. But once you dive deeper down into the article, then we see the same problem as we saw with Surfer SEO. The introduction is just too long. I would split it up and maybe add some key takeaways to get an understanding of what's happening in the articles. But then when we dive further down into the article in the bottom especially, then you get an idea of all of these tips and Koala Rider really goes into depth with all of these tips. So you get an idea of how to perform the tips and the lists are basically like guidelines for you on how to perform the tips in an easy and readable way. I really like that. So far, this is definitely the best article on this search phrase. Now the last one is phrase and we have to remember that phrase is running on GPT 3.5. So hopefully we'll notice a difference. And already from the beginning, I see that it's missing an introduction. There are no key takeaways and then it's just blocks of text after each other. There are no lists or highlighted words to break up all of these paragraphs. And each paragraph is very long. There are no images or tables either. So here we really see the difference and the power of GPT-4 versus GPT-3.5. Furthermore, then there are no FAQ section. It is just text. But then when we dive into the text, it is of decent quality. It makes sense. These tips are actionable. But again, as we saw with Koala Writer, it was much easier when we had a list and formattings here and there to read it because right now the phrase article is very heavy to read. Another thing that is concerning me with phrase is that it's writing in a mix of third person and second person. I just want the article to be second person. I want to feel that the article is written to me and everything is directed to me. Now, one last comparison point is the content score. So Surfer SEO scores 75 out of 100 in their own tool. But as soon as I put it into phrase content optimization tool, then they only scored 29%. Koala Writer scored 36% in phrase and phrase own article scored 39% in phrase and 49% in Surfer SEO. So you can see these content scores are all over the place and it depends on the each individual content editor because each editor has different parameters that they check on and they have different words that they find relevant for this search phrase. These words are called NLP words. But overall, then Koala Writer is the overall best AI copywriting tool because they use list highlighted words and even tables once it's relevant. It makes it so much easier to read the article. Then they generate a perfect outline often and the quality of the text is very high. Server SEO comes in at the second place and then phrase in the end. Here we really saw the difference between GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. But as mentioned, you can't just take one AI copywriting tool and then use it for everything. Because while Koala Writer is great for informational articles, you don't get a lot of wiggle room to do what you want to do with the article. If you want full control of your article, then Phrase is a perfect tool where you can go in and basically build your entire own AI template, customize it for your need. You can do this with Surfer SEO or Koala Writer. With those tools, you get great quality output, but you have no control of what is happening. With Koala Writer, you have minimal control where you can tell it what to do with the outline and the text in the outline. But with Surfer SEO, you have no control at all. You can only choose the websites and then Surfer SEO will take care of the rest. So again, each individual tools have different use cases and each use case applies to different people. 
it's entirely up to you what type of AI copywriting tool fits your use case best. And as a little bonus, in Koala Writer, you can make a product roundup from Amazon where you can insert your Amazon affiliate ID and you can even insert the search link where you want to pull the products from. And then Koala Writer will write a product roundup for you using your affiliate links. It is so powerful and it saves you so much time once you want to publish this article. So again, that's a different type of use case. So it really depends on what it is you're looking for. So just to sum everything up, Phrase is perfect for customized workflows where you want to build your own AI template. Quailer Writer is perfect for informational articles or if you want to do product roundups on Amazon, for instance. And then Server SEO is great for informational articles if you have the budget for it. And just with Surfer SEO, I reviewed that last week. So if you want to see a more in-depth review of Surfer SEO's new AI, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.